Hello everyone, uh, it's Spence, and uh, welcome to today's hook along. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Uh, trying to arrange delivery for a uh, Mallard. Maynard is still drunk, apparently. Um, uh, trying to arrange a delivery for a um, for the owl that I made the other day. Um, anyway, so we're here. It's Friday. Everything's okay. Everything is great. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I really wanted to find, I wanted to work on some cosplay stuff some more. And while I am not personally going to um, cosplay uh, Sailor Moon, because Sailor Neptune is more my aesthetic, um, I did happen to find something that I thought would be really cool to try out for the stream. So I know that the pattern that's on the, what is it, the right of your screen um, is just letters and numbers. This is a Fibromancy spell, it, also known as pattern. Um, and this is for a uh, moon wand. So let me scroll down here. Here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. Um, I found this on uh, Ravelry for free, and I just realized that I did not update my Nightbot, so bear with me one moment while I take care of that. Oh, and you get to see me type stuff, but that's okay. I knew I forgot to do something, but, you know, considering it's my second day working with, uh, working with Nightbot, um, it's not terrible. chat, I can do this. Oh, come on. There we go. Alrighty, um, so there's the pattern in the link. This is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna start with, I believe we start with the gold. Is that correct? I believe it's correct. Okay, so we are starting in gold. I adjusted the um, my camera a little bit so you get more of an overhead view. I am super bright. Hang on. Hey, that's a little better. Um, there we go. Yeah. Maynard, watch the row counter. Make sure it does its job. I will make other Maynards, but this one, he's going to stay with me. Because I loves him. Okay, so it says six single crochet in a magic ring. If you have not done a magic ring, what it is is you make, you loop it around twice, and then you start doing sing whatever it calls for in the magic ring. So it calls for single crochet, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
So I'm going to make sure that I have six single crochet to go back into. Dang it. All right, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this came separated a little bit. Okay, so I need one more. One more. There we go. So now I take this end here and I pull. And it's going to tighten this up real tight. I don't usually like doing magic rings because if I do it, tw if I have two loops instead of one, it's just difficult. All right, so now we've done one. I should do. Oops. There. Move my keyboard to where it's not so awkward to reach. Okay, so row two. Um, Um, so, single crochet increase in each single crochet. So again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So here's the first one. And I think we're going to use a thread as a row counter because it will pull through nicer and I won't poke myself so much. So there's one. Thanks for joining me. Um, so we're working on a Sailor Moon uh, moon wand today. So what are you up to, my friend? Have you been painting? All right, so that is row two done. We are on to row three, where we do a single crochet and then a single crochet increase. So I consider this backwards, but you know, whatevs. Hey, Nettie, thanks for hosting. Really appreciate that. And Wendy, thanks for the follow. Um, that's awesome. Slowly but surely I'm figuring out Twitch and, and all the little alert thingies. Um. So I had a couple of thoughts. Well, okay. You know how sometimes when you're in the shower you come up with your best ideas? That happened to me today. Um, so I was trying to figure out how I can give myself some more structure um, with regards to the stream um, if I'm going to be doing it every day of the week. Um, so here's my thought. And you all can let me know if you think it's good or not. Um, so Wednesdays are typically work in progress, work in progress Wednesdays or whip Wednesdays. Um, as far as Instagram and all that stuff goes. Um, 
so my thought was that I would do whatever my big work in progress is on Wednesday. Um, then on Thursday, I could work on a critter or I could work on something for hooking for the homeless. And then Friday, um, I don't know. So basically one day I would work on a work in progress. One day I would work on a critter. One day I would work on something for hooking on the homeless. And then one day would just be a free for all. Um, if I get patrons on Patreon or what have you, they can choose what I work on. Um, so what do you think? I mean, I kind of think it's cool. Alright, so you're now on row four and we are single crocheting in each one. Got it. Now this pattern didn't tell me what size hook to use, but since everything that I'm using except for the little red gem um, is calls for a 5.5 hook, I'm using a five because I don't want this thing to be too big, you know? And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is Maynard. He is uh, one of the critters I made last week, and I loves him. I loves him so much. He is a mallard. Um, he has little, little flippy feathers up at the top. His best friend is Piper. This is Piper. But Piper needs a something to stand on, so uh, I don't have her on the stream. So now we are on round five. We're doing a single crochet increase in each. Okay. So I am learning to read the whole line of instructions before I do a row. I don't want to have um, a huge mistake like I did when I was first working on the um, working on the parrot design. Now I do have gold crochet thread, but it's a different size and I would have to change the pattern uh, to use it. So I'm not gonna use it for this project, but I might try to re rework the project so that I can use a proper um, light gold for the moon. Okay. So, row six, um, or round six, 
one single crochet, increase, wait, that's what we just did. Six is one single crochet in each single crochet. Hey, what's up, Morlock and all? I am so happy to have you here. Thanks so much for the follows. Oh man, thank you so much. Um, yeah, please don't use caps, it, uh, but thank you so much for showing up. Um, wow, that's awesome. This is my first raid that's happened. Uh, yeah. So what we're doing here, hi girl fiend, I loves you. Um, so what we're doing here is we are making, um, it Sailor Moon's, uh, Moon Wand. And, uh, so yeah, we are on row six and, and then you all showed up and made me super happy. <laughs> oh man. Um, okay. So one, cur one single crochet in each. Here we go. All the music in this, um, <laughs> no worries, hon. No worries. Um, hi. Um, I I miss you guys so much. <laughs> all my all my Western mass friends. Um, I hope you all are enjoying the sunshine, or at least got to for a little bit today. Um, so yeah, all the music that you're hearing, by the way, is uh, from Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech.com. He's got all royalty-free music, um, and yeah, I love it. I've been using Reek for like a boss. Yeah, you have. I have been too. I am currently in production of a, an uh, audiobook version of a game handbook um, which I recorded can you believe it more like I can't because I kind of said I wouldn't record and now I am Oops. I'm gonna turn down my music just a little bit because it's um, distracting me <laughs> Like I can stop recording. <laughs> yes, McLeod is a freaking saint, and we love him. Um, and his library is huge. Like I'm probably gonna spend Monday um, working on getting another. Like I've done this playlist for the week. Um, I'm probably going to do a different um, uh, playlist next week. I can stop. Uh, and then voice acting <laughs> is my crack. <laughs> um, yeah, I I can't dispute that. <laughs> All right, we are on row seven. Actually, streaming is my crack now. So I still do the weird voices, but that's just you know that's how how I do. Um, all right, row seven says single crochet decrease in each round. Okay, if you say so. Oops, and I already messed it up. You're right. Um, <laughs> streaming is an interesting art form that has taken the world by storm. And now that a lot of things are not in production uh, because of the world that we live in, streaming is how people are going to be entertained or connect with each other or what have you. Uh, 
and Morlock knows because we used to be a part of a radio uh, station together. I like being in front of the mic. I can't help it. Wow, that's awesome. I I am also crazy um, because I do this Wednesday through Saturday, five to seven. That's what I do. But it's dedicated crochet time. So I was saying earlier uh, that I kind of want to set up the days of the week in a way that I'm doing something a little different every day. So like Wednesdays are whip days, uh, work in progress. Um, so I can work on my big projects on the stream. And then I want to have one day where I work on little critters like Maynard here. Um, and one day where I do something for charity and one day that I, um, uh, that I do like a, yeah, here's Maynard. Um, and one day that I do a, uh, like populous request pattern or something. Um, I just have to figure out what days I want to do that and so on and so forth. Um, speaking of charity, um, my friend, the tea monster, um, he is doing a charity for, uh, no kid hungry, which I, I seriously can talk or maybe I can't, I can't talk and type at the same time. There we go. Um, so he's, uh, He's raising money for uh, No Kid Hungry. Many kids rely on school lunches for food, and they are coming. And No Kid Hungry is... Um, bye, hun. I'll talk to you later. Um, no, no Kid Hungry is uh, working to provide food security for uh, children and families in need. Um, so I didn't want to duplicate efforts, so I'm just sharing his link, uh, raising money for this charity. So if you're able... Um, uh, please go ahead and, uh, and give what you can. If you're not able, then, uh, you know, think about sharing it. It's a good cause. Anyway, so what are we on? We're on row eight, row eight, single crochet all the way around. And then we're going to switch to pink. Here we go. So I would love to do a stream, like if I'm doing anime related cosplay crafting, I'd love to have music from that anime in the background. You know what I mean? Aw. Uh, well, thanks Morlock for showing up. I really appreciate you. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I appreciate y'all, y'all being here. I appreciate the raid and the loves. So yeah, that's those are my those are my thoughts on format that I'll probably work on Monday and Tuesday because Sunday I am doing all the role playing games cuz I am nuts. Okay, so now we are on row nine. We are going to switch to pink. This is tricky because I have to work with that and this. Okay. Haha. -ha. No. There we go. Come on. There we go. Pull the gold nice and tight. 
and separate. There. We'll deal with that again later. All right, and so we are single crocheting for a long time. All right, sounds good. So now we're into the meditative part of the uh, of the stream, which is appropriate given the music that has come on, um, and I will turn that up. Um, so, hi, if you're here, you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, otherwise, you know, let's wind down from this crazy year-long week. And get in a little crafting something that we can control maybe <laughs> I say as I pull the wrong thing into the project there we go. that is still very bright Well, that's unpleasant. Apparently my cat was chewing on this. So, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to go from the outside and then I'll have to re-roll this after the stream. So what I do when I'm not streaming, if I um, don't feel like watching anything in particular, is I'll just go and watch other maker streams or other um, um, other streams of my friends, and uh, and I will usually be uh, winding yarn. Last night I was doing that while one of my friends was playing The Last of Us, and I'm like, I'm glad you're playing that game, because I can't. I just, I just can't. I don't do the zombies. Maynard, you drunk. Get back over there. There we go. So, I found out a weird thing today, um, that 
you can't show feet on Twitch. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. It just seems very strange to me. Maybe they don't want feet only um, Twitch streams or something. And I can understand that. That would attract the wrong kind of people. Um, not kink shame and just that's not what this is for. That's not what this side is for. Oh, I didn't. There we go. So apparently I have to be a little extra vigilant as I'm working this up to make sure that I don't forget to do my row counter. Although I will say, it is kind of nice to have the row counter on the screen so that you can see it and I can see it. And not just have my, my tiny row counter that you can maybe see if you're watching this on a TV or something. <laughs> Today I was watching um, another uh, crochet streamer and she was making a puffer fish. And she was like, yeah, it's a lot of Picos. And I went, oh, I hate Picos. <laughs> Those are my least favorite thing in crochet. I will make all the cables you want. Don't ask me to do Picos. I'm still not happy with the color. That's better. There we go. So for those of you who don't know, I am a big fan of um, Sailor Moon. And my very first cosplay was of Sailor Neptune. I had the bright teal hair. I sewed two shirts together to make a leotard. Um, I stuffed some... Uh, I, I made shoulder poofs and stuffed it with pillow stuffing because I was resourceful. <laughs> and it was cheaper to get a to get a pillow than it was to uh, get stuffing. Um, and then I crocheted myself some fingerless gloves, a uh, choker, and a whole bunch of the little tiaras that they wear. And uh, I was like, I need a mirror. Now, I know a lot of people are amazed by, oh goodness, I did it again. I did it twice, wow. I know a lot of people are amazed when, um, when folks are just like, oh yeah, I can make this and just do it. Um, that For me, it comes from a lot of time in the Girl Scouts. Okay, so. One, two, three, so this is four, so this would make it row so here, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, this is thirteen. Um, and then I made a skirt. The skirt was the hard part because um, I didn't realize I had to make it longer in the back. Um, so I know that now for when I redo it. Oh, and I crocheted the heart, um, on the heart brooch um, on the front bow. Now it helps that Earlier that year, in my SCA group, we had done all Sailor Senshi Scouts in Viking. So I knew how to do the, um, the collar part. 
because you know how they all have the like sailor collar. Um, so I at least knew how to do that. Yeah, it was it was fun to do. Um, I ended up deconstructing and reconstructing it and making it into a steampunk cosplay where I made myself a holster on my thigh for my mirror. Um, I crocheted green around some goggles and uh, wore a corset over the um, leotard. Um, and so I was steampunk Sailor Neptune, which was great. And I had, um, I had green jeans for that. So it was a good time. I wore that to, um, Kineticon one year when I was, um, helping a friend with, uh, her booth. And so basically I'd stood in front of the booth and was there to draw people in. And also just gawk at everybody's cosplays, which were amazing. Okay. Fifteen. And since we're all still here, hey Ice Baby, thank you so much for the uh, for the follow. Since we're all here, why don't we all take a drink of water? It is important to stay hydrated. Um, yeah. That's the thing I'm going to also need to do. Let me write that down. So if you have questions or anime that you like to watch or any cosplay um, questions, I can try to answer. Um, I'm happy to. Um, just go ahead and, uh, and put them in the chat. I do put these videos on YouTube after the fact, so... If you have to leave for whatever reason, um, you know, you're definitely welcome to watch the, watch the feed later on. But yeah, every day I'm learning a little something new. Both about crochet and about Twitch and about life and how to manage my voice while I'm using it every day of the week in a form of entertainment. And I did not make tea for myself today, so shame on me. I'll make some later tonight. So what's interesting about using a yarn uh, row marker instead of a clip-in one is that you get to see how the row changes and how it spirals around, which is neat, in my opinion. 
I know I said last week that I don't like these, but for long things, um, long conical things like this, uh, they are quite useful. Just drawing out some more yarn here. Oh, goodness. I think it's really funny that, um, you know, my, my friends, a lot of my friends who are podcasters or word podcasters, are now on Twitch doing their own thing. Um, and it's lovely. I very much, um, I very much like following them and watching uh, what they do. Um, I wish there were more hours of the day or, or different ways where I can um, watch multiple people at the same time and keep track of it all. But sadly, I can't. That's okay, though. We're all doing what we can to stay sane, to stay creative, and to just be good humans to each other and to ourselves. And to ourselves is one of the hardest things to do, I think. I am still beating myself up a little bit about some uh, constructive criticism that I got uh, yesterday. So, and I know I shouldn't. I know I need to learn and just move on. But I don't like letting people down. Alrighty. Row 19, here we go. We are more than halfway done with this section. This works out pretty fast. It's kind of cool.
I realize that these can feel pretty boring um, because they're the same stitch over and over again. However, the cool thing about working on um, crocheted um, accessories and even smaller projects like the birds, um, the cool thing is that you can see the progress more quickly than you can with, say, a blanket or a shawl or, um, you know, some something on a larger scale. This one is like, oh, we're getting close. I'll be done in X amount of time. So just my stream of consciousness uh, is basically what I'm thinking about now. Um, you know, I've, I'm slowly but surely building up stuff so that I can do this stream and not worry about it taking away from other things that I need to do. Like this stream, as much as I would love to... Um, say oh yeah it's gonna make me money I don't think it will but I do think that setting myself a schedule to share things with people um, is a good thing I do think that scheduling time to be online and really organizing myself will help me organize other parts of my life some of which are online some of which are not Um, I know it definitely fills up my calendar, that's for sure. It makes me um, check my online calendar a lot and check my responsibilities a lot and be more mindful of my time. And if I set myself um, goals it definitely helps oh I know what I could be telling you guys about on Monday right is it Monday or is it Tuesday it's the 31st whatever day the 31st is 31st is Tuesday so Tuesday night on the other channel that I'm on Penny for a Tale I am going to be running a one shot and the one shot is a one page RPG because I love those and it is called Sexy Wizards Battle. And I am super stoked. <laughs> I am super, super stoked because A, Sexy Wizards Battle, and who doesn't want that? Um, and B, I have an amazing cast of characters. Um, I have myself as the game master, obviously. I have uh, my cohort, Mitch, from Penny for a Tale because I love having him as a player um, as much as I love having him as a GM. Um, I have uh, Melissa Lewis Gentry from uh, the Avalon Salon. I've known her for her, them. Yeah, I think she uses both her and them. Um, I've known Melissa for several years, have been gaming, was introduced to her through a Mage the Awakening game, and uh, she was in the middle of opening her game salon before this whole quarantine thing happened. Um, so I'm super excited to have her on. Um, and then we've got um, Jim Ryan who is other doc on Twitch. Uh, he's going to come and play and I've been voice acting with him for ages. Um, and then we have two of my friends from Balticon slash podcast books slash all the voice stuff. Um, Paul Cooley and um, Dave Robeson will both be 
on as well as player on as players. Um, super exciting stuff. I can't wait because all of them have amazing voices, whether they know it or not. So yeah, I'm looking forward to having them on to, uh, to play the silly one shot. I'm also really looking forward to finishing up, um, editing on a few different games that I'm writing with people. I'm collaborating on writing a bunch of one page RPGs, uh, through my work with game school, um, the game school podcast. So I need to get to editing on those. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a good time. Um, the only thing that would have made it better is if I could have gotten Jeremiah McCoy to also be on it because Jeremiah, Jeremiah McCoy has a, a TikTok where he plays a wizard and the wizard says all sorts of silly things. Um, and I would have loved to get him on there, but I had a full group by the time I got around to contacting him to tell him how funny he is. So that's what I'm looking forward to on Tuesday. I'm barely thinking about anything else. Barely. Okay. Hey y'all, we are on row 25. So if you are watching this, whether on YouTube or on Twitch, I want you to take a drink of water. I know I am. Now granted, my water is in the form of seltzer, but it's still hydration. <laughs> All right. Onward, we have less than 10 rows to go. Hey, Nettie. It's, yes, iced tea is still hydration. I'm so glad you're here. What have you been up to this week, my friend? Just finished meeting, going to go out and get a walk in. Nice. That sounds delightful. I got outside for a little bit because my cat decided I needed to go outside. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous out today. Well, at least where I am. Sounds like it's my, it's nice where you are too. And uh, just like we did the last time, um, I have yarn. I have the scratchy yarn that I'm going to stuff this with. This yarn that I'm currently working with is the Karen Simply Soft yarn. It's delightful to touch. It's not, it, it's not itchy or anything. Which is good, because if you're cosplaying, you want something, uh, something nice in your hand cold but nice well yeah I mean it is March you know we're supposed to get snow this weekend so we'll see how that goes so Nettie I was telling them about my uh my first cosplay uh, the Sailor Neptune cosplay. Nettie was there for that and helped me with a lot of technical stuff on that cosplay. <laughs> like making sure my butt bow was centered. Which was fun. And required a lot of safety pins. Oops. Mm. 
it was it was a really fun cosplay and uh i also helped uh with your cosplay uh nutty was cosplaying uh kiki from kiki's delivery service and i made my very first bow it was adorable and really easy surprisingly um so yeah there was that um i was just a oh oh can I, so Nutty, I'm going to share something with you. I mean, if you're watching this stream on YouTube, you will have already seen it. I had my first raid. I had my first raid today. That was kind of cool. It was my, it was a bunch of my friend, well, one of my friends from Western Mass had finished his stream and sent them all over. And that was super spiff oh you were there ah you were in your meeting gotcha gotcha I don't know how people do these things although I can't imagine that you know simply watching this without audio is still kind of comforting But yeah, today is a good day for podcasting, I guess. That was nice to have some new people. Well, podcasting, streaming, I guess is the correct thing. Okay, somebody who followed me is named Audiosexual, and that makes me smile a great deal. One of the things I have to do to make sure that my shoulder doesn't get mad at me again is um, check my posture every now and again. So that's a, that's a good thing to, to try to be mindful of. Okay, row 30, gonna take a sip. I did not drink a lot on yesterday's stream and uh, I regretted it afterwards. <laughs> so let's not do that again. Yesterday was a nice, quiet stream, though. So we spent, I spent most of it just listening to the music and, you know, occasionally saying this, that, or the other. I 
had a spell going in the background and uh, my my candle just went out so that means that that's done which is good Alrighty. And I've dropped my yarn. Hold on a moment. There we go. Nope, now it's stuck. This is what I get for having a rolly tear. Oh, I'm going to have a good time rewinding this ball. The skein. All right. I know part of the reason why I'm so thirsty is because I'm back on my meds. Speaking of which, let's talk about medication for a minute. Um, if you are on medication that adjusts your moods, and you start to feel better. Learn from my mistakes. Do not go off your meds. I have a feeling that my constructive criticism from last week is partially because I was off my meds and I wasn't thinking clearly. So, um, yeah, it's important. And if you don't think your meds are working for you, then you talk to your physician or your psychiatrist or whatever because your mental health is very important it's important to me this has been your PSA for mental health I may not be space mom but I still care the last row of the handle
Okay. And so now, cut this off. And we take out the stitch marker. Okay. So this will get filled in and poof out kind of like that. So then you would be holding it like so. Half listening, but heard don't go off your reds. It is really important. I ran out of my thyroid reds at the start of self isolation, and this week I am a mess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so definitely, and I know a lot of doctors and pharmacies are working with people during uh, self isolation. Um, so yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the next piece. <sighs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you are back on your meds now, Nutty, and um, I'm, I hope you start to feel better soon. All right, so circle at the top of the staff. I just want to see if it has the assembly part. It does. Okay. So circle at the top of the staff in pink. Oh, magic ring again. it all together. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, okay, I see them all. Alright, so let's reset the row counter. Well, we've done one. Now we're going to do row two. Single crochet increase in each single crochet. Got it. That's the tail. Did I do a slip stitch instead of a single crochet? <gasps> I did. Shame on me. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, move this over. Round three, and single crochet, and then an increase. So
And I'm just going to get quiet for a little bit so that I make sure I'm not missing any stitches because I realize that I have a tendency to do that when I'm talking and stitching. So now we're doing two single crochet and then an increase. Alrighty, three single crochet and an increase. So that's one, two, three, increase. Three, increase, one, two, three, increase. All right, next row. So four, okay, so that's one, two, three, four, and an increase. One, two, 
one, two, three, four, and increase. Increase. One, two, three, four. Increase. One, two. Three. Sorry, I didn't. Four. Increase. Okay. Row seven. Single crochet decrease in each single crochet around. Ah, okay, we're doing that again. Oh, no, wait. That's not the right one. We are on seven. Okay, single crochet all the way around. Got it. We're doing that for two rows. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I don't know why I'm counting this part. I don't need to. Maybe it's just because it's better than not saying anything sometimes. Mm. Who knows? Oh, I activated a couple of new things on the website today on uh, Fibromancers for Hire, which you can see right down here. Um, I Well, first of all, all the birds got pictures on the website, and I finally created a um, you know contact us page so that if people want commissions, they can reach out. Um, I also... Uh, relaunched my Patreon page, um, but did it for crochet. Um, I've got a couple, I've got four different levels. Yeah, I've got the, the soft, soft yarn lover, which is just $1 a month. Um, I'll say thank you on the stream. I'm a very grateful person. Um, Five is a uh, pattern purveyor. Um, so you get to dictate a pattern that I do. Um, and I'll like dedicate it to you. Um, 10 is a uh, Piper's Pal. And I will do a dice bag. Um, or a little, a little friend. Um, then there's, a uh, Mallard's Choice, um, or Maynard's Choice, um, where in addition to, um, everything else, um, I will, uh, what was it? Oh, I would uh, do a custom 
um, creation. And then if you decide you really like my stuff and you do $40 um, patron, that is the... Um, oh, I forget what I called it. It was Piper's Choice, Mallard's Choice, and... Um, I think it was like Fibromancer Apprentice or something. Um, but I would also do a tarot reading for um, for that individual, for whoever um, sponsored at that level. And I do that twice a year for them. So yeah. I think, I think those are good goals. And then I have like super special goals um for for the number of patrons and i'm shooting for the stars here shooting for the moon maybe i'll end, end up at the stars but it's um you know fiber mancer's gotta eat <laughs> And if nothing else, I'm learning a lot about the various platforms for when I do other things. You know, whatever comes in the future. Which is good. Learning is good. Learning is great, actually. Okay, and that is the end of row eight. It doesn't say to finish it off. Um, I just want to take a look down here. Okay, it doesn't tell me what to do about this portion here, the, um, the little emblem. Oh, but there's more. I didn't see that. Is there more? Oh, it's just felt. Got it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and so this part, got it. So this part will be filled and come down around like so. Okay, I think I understand. So I will leave an extra long tail on this. There's that. Alrighty. Those two pieces can hang out up there. Um, okay. What are we looking at for time? 
Okay, we've got half an hour, so I can start doing the the moon. It says in yellow or gold. So I've got the gold that I did here, and then I've got this bright yellow. And I'm kind of thinking I want to do it in this one so that it matches the bottom. Also, it just, in my opinion, is prettier. So we're doing another magic ring. Gag. I understand why people do magic rings. I really do. I'm just not fond of them. One. Two. Three. Four. And pull. Okay. Reset the counter. And we are on two. So, single crochet increase. Where did my marking yarn go? Oh, I tossed it. This one, we're definitely going to need the marking yarn. So I don't think we're going to be finishing this one today, but we will get as far as we can. And I guess next Friday we'll do more cosplay stuff. If that, whatever day I decide is going to be my cosplay day. That way I'm at least working some per week on each project. So single crochet and then increase. single crochet in each round. All right, easy enough. One, two, three, two, four, Okay, this is one of those things where Spence did not read the rows correctly. So hey, I gotta go back. Back to the first row. So back to row two. Okay. 
So, because row two actually says single crochet all the way around. So, here we are. That makes way more sense. One, two, three, four. Okay. And now we do the increase. So that is, oh, so we're not doing increases all the way around. We are just doing one single crochet and then an increase. Got it. Again, this is why you have to read the pattern all the way. <laughs> Otherwise, like me, you get confused. And apparently I'm still confused. All right, somewhere along the line I did something wrong. doing correctly? How do I have five here now? Alright, you know what? I'm starting over. Which is okay. Sometimes you need to. Three, four. Okay. And then we close the loop. So we start with this one. Marker stitch in there. Okay, and 
then we are doing single crochet Nope, we're still on row three. Single crochet. That's one, two, three, four, and push this out so that it goes the way I want it to. Two, three, four, five, six. Somehow I got an extra stitch in here, and I'm not sure how. Two, three, four, five, six. Um, all right. Uh, hi, JP. How you doing? Um, let's see. How are we doing for time? We got 20 minutes. Okay, so then single crochet all the way around for six stitches. So since I have one extra stitch, I'm going to do the first one as a decrease. Because that just, that makes sense to me. And I will put my marker in. So, one, two, three, four. All right, now the stitch count is correct, and I'm just, I'm not even gonna bother going back to try to fix whatever was going on in the first round. It's fixed now, that's all that matters. Alrighty, so then, on row five, two single crochet, and then a uh, increase. trim off this excess end here because I think that's part of what's throwing me off. Okay. So then row six, single crochet all the way around. Got it.
So if you remember when I was doing the tail on the, um, the parrot, um, that's the kind of small space that I'm working with right now. And that's, um, so it's a little tricky. I feel like once we get to a bigger count all the way around, I will be, I will be having less issues. Okay, row seven. Hey, everybody who's watching, take a drink of hopefully something hydrating. Okay, three single crochet and an increase. Got it. So we should end up with ten. So that's one, two, three, and an increase. Makes ten. Row eight, single crochet in every one. Got it. So we're starting to get the conical part of the crescent moon which will be good. Aha. This tells me that we've got about 15 minutes left. JP, what have you been up to today? about the whole uh, row counter thing. All right, four single crochet and an increase. We are going to end up with 12. Got it. So, one, cold and not something more serious but poor poor kid and poor you guys that's got to be scary right now um i hope he starts to feel better real soon it's no fun especially when you don't necessarily know what's going on all right row 10 single crochet and everything Recovery. 
Oh yeah, since we're at the end, well, towards the end of the podcast, I should remind you guys that my friend, the Tea Monster, uh, is doing a charity uh, drive. Um, he's raising money for No Kid Hungry, um, which basically provides food security for um, families and especially children who um, are in need. Um, so rather than duplicating efforts, I'm just going to promote his donation link, um, whenever I can. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can help change the lives. Apparently $1 is worth 10, um, meals. $1 provides 10 meals, um, which is insane. But I used to work at a food bank, so, um, I do kind of remember that. Oh, right. We are on row 11. What is row 11? Five single crochet and an increase. So we've got one, two, three. single crochet. Got it. I'm doing pretty well. Um, I am still fighting some of the brain weasels from yesterday. Um, I got some constructive criticism from one of my clients regarding an audio job and, um, and Mallard is drunk. Maynard is drunk. There we go. Um, and so I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, but in figuring it out, I'm also uh, realized that I was off my meds, and so that was probably part of the issue. So I am fixing that and getting back on my meds. Um, and then also trying to figure out a schedule where I can work on a different kind of project every day that I'm streaming. Um, so like Wednesdays, I'll do work in progress Wednesday, so I'll work on my big projects. Um, and then another day I'll work on a cosplay piece like this one, another day I'll do a little critter, and then another day I will, um, you know, do a patron, uh, challenge or something. I don't know. Oh yeah, and I set up my Patreon and I updated our website. So it was busy, and I honestly wasn't very enthusiastic about it. Um, but, you know, that's kind of the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes you can't be, uh, enthusiastic, but you get up and you do it anyway. Alright, six single crochet, and then increase. So, this is two, three, four, five, six. Thanks, JP. I appreciate the uh, the encouragement. 
It was also pretty cool. Earlier in the stream, uh, one of my friends from Western Mass um, who uh, who does audio uh, sent a raid over, and that was pretty cool. And that brightened up my day significantly. Um, so yeah, I was quite pleased. Alright, so row 14. One single crochet in each. So yeah, slowly but surely, I'm figuring out the Twitch stuff. Um, my next, uh, my next project is to uh, get the chat to show up properly. Like, I want to do it so that it's not just uh, a web page. I want to kind of have like the chat pop up in a box. I haven't figured it out yet. I will though. Until then, like, I figured out how to do, like, event pop-ups, and you can see over in the top right corner, um, which, you know, makes me eternally happy. Figuring out things makes me happy. <laughs> do one more row I think or a couple more rows because we've only got a couple more minutes left yeah we got four minutes left so we're gonna do row 15 and then we are gonna sign off and it's seven Thanks, JP. I appreciate it. You are pretty awesome yourself, my friend. Alright, so I just want to remind everybody that you can catch my... Uh, uh, if you missed any part of this feed and you want to go back to the beginning and start hooking along with me, um, you can go to... Uh, my YouTube page, which will be in the show notes. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, you can watch me live on my Twitch page. So, there, I've done that part. Um, if you would like to order a commission, this lovely uh, website down here um, is where you can do a, get a commission from either me or my friend Val, who does knitwork, embroidery, and everything. Right now she is hand sewing those, uh, those masks for um, the personal protection equipment for the hospitals. Um, if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so at patreon.com forward slash resident moon. Um, you know, there are some really cool uh, tiers that I came up with today. <laughs> so um, there's that. There's also the charity that I've been talking about throughout the stream. If you would rather have your money go towards a bunch of people, every little bit counts with, uh, with this um, No Kid Hungry program. Um, additionally, make sure you drink water. Um, what else? What else? What else? You can follow me on Instagram. Um, the Instagram is crochet underscore cosplay. Um, all of the music for this program has been uh, from Kevin McLeod over at Incompetech.com. He gives away his music for free. He's an absolute saint, and we love him for it. What else am I supposed to be saying here? I'm sure I'm supposed to be saying something clever and funny, um, but I will stop, stop here um, with row 16. That way I keep track of what I'm at. Uh, 
And yeah, if you like what I'm doing, please go ahead and follow up at the top or uh, if you're watching on Twitch or if you are watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit subscribe. I do these Wednesday through Saturday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I would love to have you all with me uh, chatting away as I do some, uh, some crochet cosplay. I think tomorrow I'm going to be working on a Cooking for the Homeless scarf. Um, so I'll be doing a really awesome repetitive pattern and we'll see how many I can get done in two hours. Um, so until next time, thank you so much for, uh, for being here with me uh, and hanging out and we will see you tomorrow.